Hi again. Hopefully, from my previous presentation, the matrix concept is already clear. Now we're going to talk about uh, talk more about the applications of matrix. Familiar with this situation? Or are we comfortable with messy situations like this during work or even breaks? We can barely find our stuff here before we can even use them. So we are rather closer to problem than to solution. On the other hand, from flying drone that was neatly arranged, it created beautiful Olympic opening ceremony in Pyongyang in 2018. Or this main formation of Liverpool team in the 2019-2020 season that made them crowned the league champions almost undefeated. Of course, it's not a random formation being used here. Grid formation or neat arrangement is probably not the key for success, but it is undoubtedly the necessary condition to get there. So similar to math, math is about being organized and systematic, thus allowing us to use our logic and the mathematical theorems to solve the problems. Look at this equation system. It is a simple national income models, but of course our focus is not to the economics thing, we focus on the math. In this equation system, we have one conditional equations in Y equation and two behavioral equations, which is accept the information is uh, given. Then we have Y, C, and T as uh, variables whose values are sought in the model, the endogenous variables. Looking at the model, it is well presented, but still less organized. It will be getting even more complicated if both the unknown variables and the equations are added to the system. Here, we don't separate yet the endogenous variables, the parameters, and the exogenous variables. Y, C, and T appear on the left side of an equation, but also on the right side of the other equations. If we arrange the equation system a little bit, we can get this. Now, all the endogenous variables are collected on the left, uh, uh, on the left with their coefficients. We have all exogenous variables on the right. And then, here we go, the matrix equation system. Coefficient matrix times endogenous variable matrix is equal to exogenous variables and or parametric constant matrix. So, what can we observe? Obviously, using matrix, the equation system is now more compact. The elements of the model are now clearly identified and later we'll see it allows us to use matrix to detect the existence of a solution. When the solution exists, there's matrix way to find the solution too. No more substitution, nor elimination. Knowing the importance of matrix, then make sure we arrange the matrix equation system properly. It's worth noting, however, that matrix algebra is only applicable to linear equation system or a transformed linear relation. Our equation system here is linear for sure, but in other situation, we may have this equation instead. It's non-linear, but we can transform it to make it has a linear relation. Using log, we can come up with this. Replacing all the logs with certain symbols like this, then the equation looks to have a linear relation now. Okay, return to how to arrange the matrix equation system. Our initial case perfectly show how to do it. We just need three steps. First, find the endogenous variables. Second, rearrange the equation system like this. Put all the endogenous variables to the left side of each equation in the same order. The order here is Y, C, and T. Then, write the complete uh, matrix equation system. It must consist of these three matrices. And the order of the endogenous variables, for sure, must be consistent with that when we rearrange the equation system. In more general linear equation system, the readily converted equations into matrix will look like this. The three arrays constituting a matrix are the coefficient matrix, then the variables matrix, or more specifically the endogenous variable matrix, and lastly the constant and or the exogenous variable matrix. 
And to close my explanation, I just want to show this numerical example. It's clear and easy to arrange the matrix equation system from this, and very much less complicated than our first example. So you can breathe, because up until this, matrix is not that difficult to understand. Knowing the endogenous variables, the x, then the coefficient matrix as well as the constant matrix, then the matrix equation system is expressed by this equation. Okay, uh, that's all from me now. We will continue next time with two more important things in algebra matrix. The detection of a solution and the matrix way to find the solution. Thank you very much for the attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.